Hi right, guys, back again with another species video. And today, this video will talk about uh, how to care for our Oscars. The two are pictured right there. There's an albino red Oscar, and here's the tiger Oscar. The reason why I wanted to talk about them is because they're commonly seen for sale and many pet stores don't inform the buyer or the customer of their eventual size which is uh, it can e they can even reach 18 inches if given the right conditions but that rarely happens so I'm gonna say the average would be 16 inches max so what the point is they're seen for sale often and many people who buy them, since they're seen for sale at very small sizes, at maybe one to two inches, that's how I bought mine, but they're seen at that size, and the people buy them, and they end up either returning it to the store later on, because they don't have a big enough tank, or they keep the Oscar in a small crammed tank, and the fish just ends up unhappy. I got them in the 210 gallon, as I've shown before. So they should, that's where they're going to live forever, <laughs> hopefully. Um, next thing I want to talk about is the tank setup. This will, I, I stress about filtration about Oscars. You, they, uh, since they are a big fish and full bodied, meaning they're really roundish and big, compared to, let's see, the ball of shark, which is more flat and skinnier, the Oscars are full bodied, so they give off more waste and get uh, have a little more bio load because of that. So, extra f a good filtration is required compared to your standard fish. That's another thing that uh, new new fish keepers come and spy them, but they don't know about the filtration and how much mess they can actually make. Even at this size, they make a lot of mess. They're, they constantly hope, constantly. Uh, kind of, it's everywhere though. And the bad thing is, that I got sand, so kind of see. Uh, there's, that's that's really fresh right there. <laughs> okay. Next, would be tank mates. Oscars are cichlids, as most people know, and. Cichlids are kind of aggressive, depending on which one. And Oscars fall into the semi-aggressive to aggressive category. Mine are kind of peaceful, but during feeding they can be aggressive. Like, they hog the food. So, I have to feed in different areas in order for others to get their fair share. Um, uh, tank mates, I would suggest a lot of bottom feeders. Anything, a bottom feeder bigger than the Oscar though, either that or they're fast. Ball of sharks are fast, clown loaches are, get pretty big, and they are fast too. Um, so other cichlids, but there might be compatibility issues just because it's uh, different personalities of an Oscar. So thankfully my Oscars are really peaceful to others. So. And most people want to buy two Oscars, or even more, which can be risky because, again, their personalities are undetermined. You can just get one extremely peaceful and timid, but then the other one could be aggressive and just kill the other one just for no reason. So, uh, my suggestion, if you have the tank size, I suggest start off with a 50, 40 to 55 gallon when there are babies, start them off in there, get a group, uh, maybe five or six. And then, what well, later on you can, if there's two that don't fight each other and often swim alongside, keep those two, unless you want to keep multiple and they get along, keep those two and return the rest to the store, or keep the others in another tank, if you can. And that's the best way to get, make them uh, get along with each other. I just happened to get lucky with these two. I just bought them and then they're just okay with each other. 
pH ranges between 6 to uh, above 7, 7.5-ish. A little bit flexible, so nothing to worry about there really. Just add a couple of pieces of driftwood like I did. That should lower the pH enough. They're not too fussy about the decor though, the way you decorate the tank. They probably will mess up your decorations unless it's very heavy, such as the driftwood. I kind of put the driftwood around the Amazon sword so it kind of doesn't move. So they don't mess with that. So, And the substrate I recommend is sand. Most of the uh, owners have reported that Oscars, their own Oscars, have swallowed pieces of gravel and they kind of choke on it. So that, if you're not home to see that and they do happen to do that, then your fish is gone. So I recommend sand because they can easily filter it through the gills. And last thing is I recommend to not feed live fish even though they are carnivores. Slightly a predator too. Don't really feed live fish though. Maybe once a month. Feed uh, the uh, hikari, gold pellets, or the food sticks. That's what I recommend. Train them to eat pellets rather than live fish. It's the Oscar video.